Howdy, this is Brian again. Um, this is another update to my aquaponics setup. Um, in my last update I just finished building um, my initial design, um, but I had mentioned a few concerns that I had about the way I had originally built it. And um, after hearing some good comments from some other YouTubers, I decided to make a few more changes before I actually go live with this thing. Um, so one of the concerns was the fact that I was using tap water to fill it up. And although I had hoped the amount of filling that would happen at any given time would be relatively small, and small enough not to um, hurt the fish or plants with the uh, chlorine in the tap water, um, it sounded like some other people had some concerns about that and recommended I do something else. So what I ended up doing um, is creating, instead of down here, which used to be plugged into the tap, um, I've now bought a cheap trash can, fitted another of my one inch seal joints to it and um, basically what I'm going to do is manually fill this guy up every so often with tap water and let him sit for a while before I fill um, my tank from it. Um, so basically the idea is this will be full most of the time and um, I'll give it time for the, evapor for the uh, chlorine to evaporate and then I'll use that water to fill up the tank and so that underwater pipe is again hooked up to um, this guy coming up and then drains right in there. So one of, the th one of the ramifications of that change, which was kind of disappointing, was my um, original idea of having this thing autofill using a toilet valve worked fine when it was under tap water pressure, but just gravity pressure is not enough to engage one of those valves. Um, so unfortunately that wasn't working to autofill it. It was basically just always off. So rather than try spend a bunch of money trying to find something else that would work, I'm, my plan is to just keep an eye on it. Um, the tank is large enough that I don't think I'm going to have to be constantly watching the water level um, to keep my pump alive. Um, the water can be quite a bit higher than um, the pump under normal op normal operation, which should give me a pretty good window of opportunity to fill this up. I fitted this ball valve here because obviously there's not any valve on the other end now, so if I do want to still use this with tap water pressure, which I can do just by moving that hose down there and, put, and screwing it into the tap instead of the bucket, um, then I'll need to shut off this valve so that I don't fill my tank with tap water. Um, so that's why that's there. Alright, so that was one of the changes. Um, another change was, um, I was concerned about this and others kind of agreed. Um, my original support structure for these tanks, or grow beds, was pretty flimsy. Um, I was just using this 2x2. Two two, and uh, they were bowing and they were looking a little bit sketchy. And so what I did is I fitted another beam across. Um, and that is, I don't know if you can see, it's hanging on those little 2x4 brackets. Um, and just barely fit above my tank. And then, um, and then I also screwed on these little pieces of 2x2 two two just to give a little more, a few more screws to hold these um, in place so they don't slide out or whatever. Um, but they look a lot better. They're not bowing really at all in, now and uh, in any direction. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm not worried at all about this thing collapsing anymore. Um, and then finally, another thing that I had mentioned was concerning was my original design had both tanks draining into the same pipe and um, that's not really a good idea it can cause the siphons to kind of interfere with each other and I did notice that there were times when um, if they both filled at the same time they might not activate at once and one would get too full so I split them up and initially I had them uh, bent up and over on uh, above this lip here um, to drain in. But what that ended up doing was making the lowest point in this pipe uh, always full of water. And so that also seemed to interfere with the siphon and so I ended up having to cut out that little notch and then bend the pipes back down. So the uh, siphons now break nice and, and quickly. But for some reason when I had this set up originally with the two systems draining into the same pipe even though it had some issues, it seemed to always start the siphon um, reliably. But once I split them up and make it more proper, 
um, they weren't starting reliably. They would kind of stay in the full position a lot and um, only very rarely would the siphon actually really activate. And so I tried plugging one of these to see if faster water flow would, would fix that and it did. Um, so I could upgrade my pump. But another thing and a cheaper way to go um, rather than replace my pump is I just added something to these um, standpipes. Basically I just put some, so this is one inch standpipe and what I did is I put um, just a piece of half inch with a, a coupler on it, coupling, and um, I'm just using that to reduce the amount of flow as it drains. That seems to have fixed that problem. They now, uh, the siphon starts reliably now and um, haven't had any issues and it's a big enough diameter that it still drains quickly. Um, as you can see I've filled it with my uh, Lava Rock Grow Medium. Um, I rinsed it quite a bit and then put it in and it seems to be alright um, in terms of not making my water too nasty. Um, it is a little bit cloudy um, but you can still, I mean, you can still sort of see down there. So anyway, hopefully that'll be okay. I'm going to let it settle a little bit more and run for a little longer before I add any fish. But um, yeah, it seems to be finally working reliably and all my concerns before have been resolved. Um, I probably will get a little bit more grow medium. Um, I think I'll probably get some river rock or something smaller and smoother than this stuff and just kind of pour that on top. Um, it'll give me a little more height, which I think I need um, to my grow medium compared to my water level. Um, and it'll also be a little bit easier to work with because um, this stuff's kind of you know, nasty, big, and rough, and I don't know how I'm going to get my seeds nicely nestled in it. So anyway, that's a minor thing I'll probably do is buy a couple bags of river rock and just dump that in. But, um, but yeah, that's it. Um, pretty happy. Um, my next update, I should have fish in it and maybe a plant or two. 